Ladies, welcome to your January 2019 monthly reading. I am Lorianne, your psychic medium, here to give you all the messages I received for the month of January for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Aries. We're going to look at love, career, finance, and at the end of the reading, I will pull from the finance career cards as well as the romance angel cards. So let's take a look at what your messages are for the month because I think it's going to be a really great month. All right. We're starting the month off with the Eight of Swords. This is some of you feeling a little bit chained and stuck, a little bit trapped in your negative thought process. Maybe afraid to step out of those swords and try something new, going in a different direction. And the reason I say that is you actually do have the Two of Swords. So you are ready to, but there is something holding you back. You feel like you can't make this decision whether it be to take action or which direction to go. And there could be a reason for that. And I'm seeing this as life in general. It's not in a specific area, not yet. The reason why is you may have had a lot of toxic experiences in your life, a lot of um, difficult situations. You may, in love, you may have been dealing with a very toxic individual where they had a lot of addictions. You yourself could be overcoming addictions. Fear itself may be an actual addiction for you. Where I see you actually making this decision which direction do I go? And you are going to take action by the third week of January. Some, it may move into the beginning of February, but it really looks like the first couple of weeks is all about you getting out of this negative thought process. Stepping out in between those swords, you can fit, you can fit. Okay, those swords, they move. They move and pull it right out. And then you'll be able to make this decision. So I'm actually seeing that there's a group of you where you have a job opportunity. You may have just recently heard about it and you're feeling a little bit trapped and stuck, a little afraid to try it. Now it could very much be in a different capacity than what you're used to being in, which is causing fear. For some of you, this is all about travel. The communication is gonna come in for this job offer. They want to extend it. If they haven't already, they are going to extend it. But I do see you having to travel. So it may include a lot of traveling where you are gone for long periods of time. I travel quite a bit and then I come home when I'm done. But whatever it is, this new offer is going to lead you to a lot more money. It's a beginning stage of the money coming in, but it's going to follow very shortly within three months. So it could be a 90 day review, but I see you getting a multitude of different um, pay increases. It's like a long-term career opportunity that's going to be beautiful. I'm not sure why you're stuck. Let's see if we can find out a little bit of detail for another group of you, you have communication coming in. This is a person from the past returning. And this person, there was a lot of toxicity. They broke your heart. They may have been mourning over somebody from the past and not able to open up. Or you are still stuck wishing, hoping, wanting and praying for them to return. We have the justice card. There is justice going to be brought to the situation. So the communication that I see coming through from them is actually closing that chapter of your life. For some of you, it can be tonight. Today is December 31st. You may get that phone call tonight or tomorrow, but there is communication. This is going to be a telephone call or email. Yeah, here they are. This is the communication that I'm talking about. Them finally coming in and saying, whoa, wait, before you move, before you make any changes. And that could be why you're feeling trapped. You may have been hoping, wishing, and praying, and afraid to make these new life choices, new direction. What if they come back, right? And you move, something like that. They are coming back in and they are going to ask. There was an ending to this relationship. 
it ended. Now for every ending is a new beginning and they're coming in to give you the truth. This is about truth. Now it may be a little bit hasty. It may not even sit well with your ears when you hear it at first. It's all coming to you from the divine to put things back into balance. For some of you, you are getting ready to divorce, okay? And you are contemplating, do I do it now? Do I do it later? Is there any hope? Is there any way of transforming this? When you make the decision, whether you stay or go in the relationship where I'm speaking of a divorce, because this is an ending going to take place. Some of you are going to get divorced. You are meeting with the attorney or the divorce is going to be final in the month of January. There is an opportunity for others in a different group to transform your relationship where you actually speak the truth to your partner and say, look, dude or duda, no, this isn't working. Either we fix it or we move forward. It may come out a little bit hasty, but I do see where it's gonna make you feel absolutely awesome because you spoke up, because you defended you, and you're gonna be cheered by your family, by your friends, even by your partner because I'm seeing that you don't do that normally. So they don't really know where you're coming from if we do not communicate when a person shuts down. Those of you in soulmate twin flame relationships, you know what I'm talking, or karmic relationships, and this could be a karmic relationship where the other person doesn't contribute. And here you are putting out messages and nobody's responding, you know, they aren't talking back, no. That's wrong. So yeah, it could come off a little bit hasty. I get that. Whatever it is, it's going to be you overcoming your fear to start this new beginning and it's going to be beautiful. Okay. It really is. You've learned your lessons. That's why you feel like this on one hand. But when it comes to you actually continuing to move forward, that's where you're having some fear, some apprehension. Do not worry. If it is meant to be, they will return. For some of you, like I said, they are returning in the month of January. For another group of you, you are meeting a brand new person. You're feeling good. You already went through the divorce and you're starting a brand new life. And January is going to be very monumental in the sense that it looks like this is the first month you're in your new place, you're feeling really good, you like your job, you're good. But there is some sense of fear, maybe that's fear of being alone. Mm. Some of you, it's fear that you won't receive love again and you do have the Knight of Cups coming in. So this is gonna be lovely. You're gonna meet a new person. Towards the latter part of January, the first week of February, I see you meeting a brand new person. This brand new person is gonna be absolutely amazing incredible chemistry between the two of you. This is a brand new love. This is a person who is very passionate about life and they're going to be that way about you. They're gonna see you, they're charming, they're charismatic. They know how to create a permanent, really beautiful, healthy relationship. So when you meet them, it's really gonna take your vibration level and rise it up. For the other group of you where I said I see somebody from the past returning, I do see them coming back very different than they were. You may not even recognize them. They look different. They dress different. Their hair is different. The, the, just their um, aura around them is very vibrationally uplifting to see, to feel. You can see they've grown. They've changed. These are the people when they return, if you can actually connect that they have grown, those are the people that you wanna make the time for. At least hear it out. If they haven't grown, and you will know, within five minutes you'll know. You'll know by the way they look, by the way they talk, the way they address you, you're gonna know some you will walk away from. We are looking at the zodiac signs of 
Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and all of the water signs. Yeah, we're looking at everybody in this reading. All energies are in this reading. For another group of you, I see that you may need to travel. You may need to go home and you have to actually travel to go home. There could be a situation where somebody is very ill and you are being asked to come and help. I see a bit of hesitancy on your side. Fear of, well, if I'm gone too long, are you gonna lose your job? Universe is saying, no, you're not gonna lose your job. It's gonna be okay. Somehow, some way, this is about believing in the unseen, having faith in the unknown, because it's actually gonna be to your benefit by doing this. I'm seeing that the company is actually gonna commend you for making the time for this family member. And this could be a parent, a mother, father figure to you, or a grandparent. It's a person of authority, let's put it that way. They're very authoritative. I see you, you honor and you respect them. Yeah. For another group of you, I see you actually doing online dating and I see you involved with a multitude of different people. I don't mean physically involved with them. Communication, I see you talking to four or five different people. One of these people I see you actually going out with and you're gonna have a wonderful time with this person. This person is gonna make you feel as though you're on top of the world. They're gonna be a beautiful beginning for the new chapter that's starting in your life. Lovely, lovely energy. I like it a lot. This is nice. Yeah, so let's take a look at your finance career card and see what comes out. Very good energy. You guys are letting go of all the old and you're getting ready to start the new. It's just overcoming the fear to take that first baby step out there and you're gonna do great. You know who you are. So let's see what they want you to know. For those of you who subscribe to my channel, I thank you dearly. You know I love doing this for you. And to those of you who are new to my channel, if you like me, you like my style, please click the subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll be notified whenever I make a new posting. So the card that came out for you is assert yourself. Awake, arise, and assert yourself. Your dreamers of the world. Your star is now the ascendancy. The world is filled with an abundance of opportunity which the dreamers of the past never knew. Wow, is that not a beautiful, I, it like gave me the chills. It is such a beautiful message. And we're talking about you starting a brand new chapter in your life. This is beautiful energy. So. Read this and memorize that because this is beautiful. It's all about you putting forth action and effort, making the decision to come out of feeling stuck and choose your path. And it's gonna lead you to this beautiful new beginning. I like it a lot. So let's take a look at your romance card. And for those of you who are not aware, I am not taking any current, uh, currently no personal readings. Classes towards the end of January, beginning of February, yes. And personal uh, private uh, sessions, yes, but no readings. We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So some of you, you are meeting a brand new person. For those of you where you do have somebody coming back from the past, they're gonna be like a brand new person. So it's gonna be a brand new love if you choose to give it another go around. Either which way, we're talking love, 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 love. Beautiful energy. So this is the 31st. You guys be safe. Enjoy your holiday and much love.